Hello everyone and welcome back to Spinville. Just admiring the stadium we built in our last episode. Today we'll be building a very special theme park including a Barbie Dreamland. Uh, really excited to be doing this build today. It's been on my mind for a bit and it may seem a little silly but um, you know it's something I've been wanting to work on so uh, let's get started. So we'll be turning our attention to the other side of this island over here and uh, moving away from the main part of the downtown. And we'll be working mostly in this area today. Uh, but before we get to the uh, theme park, uh, we will be adding in a harbor to this side of the island. Uh, so let's get started with that. So I've chosen to work in this area. If we come into our ship menu and select one of our... Actually, we're going to be using one of the new hubs instead. And we'll be using the harbor bus hub. And I chose this area simply because it does connect to the existing ship path here. So we'll place this massive asset down in here and try and get it somewhat in a good spot. Right about there should work. And then if we just take move it, we should be able to sort of just adjust it in a little bit like so. And then next we'll need to get our roadway network set up. So we'll be coming over to this junction here. Um, please ignore the traffic. I will fix that in just a moment here. Um, and we'll be using this collector as well. And if we come into our terrain heights, we'll build it sort of down into this area. And this will give us an option to have an entrance for both our harbor as well as our theme park. So we'll curve this road around here and we'll probably bring it right to about there. And then we'll take a two lane road and we'll just sort of try and work it down the terrain we best we can. Um, you know, for the most part, this road we will be kind of forcing the terrain to our own will, but um, there is a few terrain lines that we can sort of try and follow and try and get the best smooth connection that we can. And then we'll use our curve road tool here just for that final connection. And I'm just going to back back that one up just a tiny bit. And once we get that guideline, we'll step into it just like that. And uh, we'll come in right away to network multi-tool and slope it out. I'm just going to pause the game real quick so we don't start flooding everywhere because <laughs> you can see it, it's coming. So yeah, nice 4.6 degree slope and then we'll smooth out the drain around there. Um, another thing I wanted to do uh, for this build was to build a bit of a bus expressway. So we'll come into our bus lanes and we'll use the uh, two-way bus only expressway. And in our freeform tool again, we will bring it under this bridge here uh, the best we can. We will have to maybe make a few adjustments to it, but... So that'll be our harbor here. One other thing I will do is maybe just come into our ship paths again. And because I'm using game anarchy, uh, we can bring the ship path off from here just to bring it in a little closer. And then we'll wait and see if we start getting any tourists arriving. And of course, we want to set up our bus lane so that pe bus line, sorry, so that people will have an option to 
get public transit directly into our downtown. So we'll bring it through the Bedford district here and we'll stop outside the elementary school real quick. We'll bring it up here and stop just outside this plaza and then we'll bring it around and have it stop at this metro line here and then it'll come back stop outside this metro line and then work its way back down like I said lane one way road, road one way road there <laughs> come back and uh, here it's gonna go the other way but uh, what we'll do is we'll finish the line and just pause real quick and we'll make a quick adjustment to hit line 14 uh, gonna use the double decker 65 and we'll just take this down to about 10 buses for now and uh, start there but what we'll do is we'll come into our roads and we'll use the bus only one-way express ramp and we'll just make the give them a little bit of an express turn around almost I guess you could say so it'll come out at a nice 90 about 3u bring it all the way down to there into that road and then we'll just make sure that our node heights are all the same quickly selecting them control H to the harbor building and then if we unpause should see the bus line eventually it'll redirect itself because this road will be faster for it all right let's get on to what I'm sure you're all definitely here for is the Barbie dreamland uh, theme park so we'll come in and we'll just bring in a nice straight road connection here and then we'll bring another one off this road here if we could just get <clears throat> the guideline to show up. Uh, apparently it doesn't want to so if I just bring this road over like so to about there and then we'll make it a nice one-way system since it's a theme park entrance we'll place that down there come into our parks menu and we'll use the amusement park uh, gate since we will be placing a lot of the amusement park assets as well in this area. And then we'll just come in and put down our park area. And it'll fill up probably this whole, whole area here. So we'll just make it nice and large uh, for that. Uh, so for the first part of our Barbie land, I'll put a picture up on the screen of kind of what I'm thinking of working on. But we'll come in and we'll be using several different mods to sort of accomplish a, a lot of this. But um, first, we'll select our path. We'll use the amusement park uh, path here. And we'll come into network skins. And we're going to change the color. That's oh, pretty, pretty safe for my testing, which just saves me some time. I'll actually just move this over just a little bit, make it a slightly lighter pink if I can. That might be a little too red, a little too purple. Get it sort of the best we can. We'll save that color there and we'll call it Barbie Land. So, anyways, we'll select that color. And we'll come probably right up over here to the edge. And we'll draw a bit of a, the driveway in there to start. And uh, for the most part, it's, it looks pretty pink so far. And then we'll come in and make a curve path. We'll try and do a really tiny one by one sort of path. And there's a lot of snapping going on. So maybe we'll take off almost everything but road guidelines and see if that helps get this in here I think one by one might just be a little too small so we'll do a two by two and I'll snap to angle just like that it's a bit off. What we can use is our network multi-tool and the range at circle mode. Come on. 
There you go. And right there, perfect. So I tagged a couple assets and find it. We come into our custom tag panel and turn on the Barbie one. And uh, I looked at various different little assets and I'm just realizing now that um, I'll have to change this real quick. Just give me one sec. All right, so I just had to quickly redraw that because I forgot we were going to use the uh, park life paths that look like roads or work like roads uh, just so that we actually have some zoning on here as well. We can uh, hook it up for the houses to actually be connected to the services. So I was looking around at different uh, assets and it looks like for the most part this house here is going to be the one that's pretty similar to what we see in those photos. So we'll place those down. And uh, I already used Bob during testing to remove some of the uh, bushes that were around it. But you can see we've got the lounge chairs and the pool, you know, and the the decal here for the driveway looks pretty similar. So um, what we will do then is we come in and using repaint, uh, we can set the color. And if we actually come into our roads, network skins, we can look at the RGB settings and uh, put those in. So we have 205, 88, and 186. 205, 88, 186. Sorry. There we go. And that color should stay the same, and then we can copy it. And... Uh, Paste it to each house. And there we go. Now we have all our pink houses. So in the middle, um, we'll fill in just with a little bit of surface tool. Um, I couldn't really find any decals or anything that were the pink color to match the, the road here. Um, what we could maybe try with our arrange it circle mode here is to see if we can just drag the circle smaller. That actually might work in our favor. Just maybe see how small we can actually get it. Try and make it as reasonably realistic as we can. It looks like probably the smallest, so that actually might work pretty well. And then we'll come in to move it, and we'll get those moved. Um, in nice and close. That's a spawn point for some wildlife. So anyways, get the driveways as close as we can. It's nice and close and tucked in. Just like that. And then we'll actually just delete any of the surface painter that we had around here. Next, what we will do is we have some props to place. So I'll turn off this tag for now. And I was able to find this great Corvette prop. Now, if any of you have been watching for the while, I was kind of hinting that when I hit 100 subscribers, there was a special build and there would be some hints and some video. So if you go back and look at some other videos, like uh, one of the first walkthroughs, you'll see when the Corvette prop snuck its way into the build uh, when we built some of our medium density over by our big pedestrian area uh, just over here I was talking about these houses and how you can make them pink and, th and that kind of stuff so but uh, anyways so with the Corvettes one of the great things is a, di a different mod from the workshop if we select our prop here come into our extra tools we have the prop painter mod and uh, we can sort of a, try, adjust our colors so that uh, we can match the photo better. So this house had a pink pink car. This one had a bit more of a yellow looking car. And this Barbie's house was blue. Bit of a light baby blue. And actually this one in the photo I'm looking at doesn't have a car, so we'll, we'll take that one off. But um, another thing we'll do is if we come in to picker using the replace, we'll actually just get rid of 
the lights on the center path here. And then we'll uh, come back in and place our own, but one of the last things we need is a planter. We'll kind of use the biggest one here. It should fit. And then to kind of finish off some of the details, and then we'll uh, we'll go into a bit of a detailing time lapse here in a second, is our California palm. And if we just use tree anarchy, like so, and there we go. We kind of got our basic Barbie land in our theme park. All right, now that we have part of our Barbie land in place, we're going to jump into a time lapse and get the rest of our theme park build.
Well, that took a lot of time and uh, detailing for this uh, amusement park here, but pretty happy with how it's uh, turning out. Um, so basically what I did here, in case you didn't see, was I was uh, building uh, park paths that basically looked like the shape of an airplane. Um, I know it's pretty crude art. Uh, I'm definitely not the best artist in the world, but uh, yeah, I tried to sort of play with that idea. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys, I know you guys know that I like words to uh, be creative with uh, the aviation aspect in my builds in City Skylines 1. So uh, pretty happy with how this park is turning out. So uh, lots of landscaping and fence detailing. Uh, as you may have seen, I just put again like a group of trees and bushes together and used it and kind of just copy pasted in a lot of different spots uh, to uh, work on some of the detailing. And the park is getting quite busy. Um, I added it in its own metro station. There's lots of cars coming. Um, I might experiment with turning on the advanced parking AI just because there's a lot of cars. Um, I tried to do some lane math fixing um, and that kind of stuff. I actually had to turn despawning off just for a little bit just because the game was getting, <clears throat> again, a little overwhelmed. And... Uh, you know, my thing isn't really traffic fixing, you know, other YouTubers kind of take care of that. So uh, I did the best I could um, and that kind of stuff. We did add a bus line uh, to, from here to the uh, harbor that's getting some decent use as well as our express bus that then goes into the downtown. So lots of options to get here. But yeah, the traffic, it was just starting to kind of ruin the build for me. And as you guys know, I want to keep Spinville running as long as possible, so traffic overwhelming the city will just kind of slow down the simulation, and then I can't really build in it anymore, so. But, uh, yeah, that's basically going to be the amusement park part. Um, you know, there's still a lot to do with the Barbie world, and i uh, going to clean up the harbor as well, so jump back into a bit of uh, finishing off time lapse to finish off today's video. <music> Happy to say that I'm extremely pleased with how this uh, build has turned out. Um, it's one of the th things I love about City Skylines 1 and why I'm still playing it is you can really push your creativity with all the mods and uh, assets that are available. And uh, I'm sure City Skylines 2 will get further updates and uh, in due time it'll also be just as great as its uh, predecessor. But uh, for now, that'll conclude uh, today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like or a comment. Uh, consider subscribing as well. Um, if you're looking to pick up any of the DLCs uh, for this as well, if you're needing Park Life, um, I think we're using Art Deco, uh, Sunset Harbor, a lot of different DLCs, consider checking out my instant gaming link in the description below as well. And that, that'll help kind of support the channel and a lot of the work I'm doing here. But uh, for now, we'll leave you admiring Barbie Land, so take care and bye-bye. <laughs>